for yourself and for Ian for this for this coming year? Uh, well, for this coming year, um, as hard as it is, I'm you know looking forward to the memorials and the and the the tributes to Mike um, that'll be that we'll be attending this year. Um, it you know makes me happy to see his name out there so much and for people not to remember so much you know who took his life but who he was and uh, the more you know events that occur the more um, you know people are aware of of the victims not so much the the, the person that did it so looking forward to that um, it's bittersweet though I'm you know I'm looking forward to it being over as well um, you know where the bulk of all that stuff is done so that we can get back to more of a regular routine and uh, so that's kind of how I feel about that. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, we're going to be doing a little bit of traveling just, you know, around, we'll be going back to COPS, uh, the kids camp in July mm -hmm. and then going to the Memorial and Sacramento and maybe taking another trip or two in the meantime. I'm going to be going back to school uh, in the fall, so. Um, where, where are you going to go to school? I'm going to be going to UCR. What are you, you going to study? So I'm going to study um, uh, physical therapy. Why, why physical therapy? Uh, just she can practice on me. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> you know, with the passage of time, it does get easier. It's just amazing to me that it's been almost a year already. It doesn't seem like that's possible. But, um, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I think we're moving in the right direction, and, you know, we've gotten a lot of support. Um, and, uh, he and I are really close, so, you know, I know there's nothing that we can't weather. I was taking Ian to the cemetery, um, we haven't been in a few weeks, but, um, uh, he's made it his job to polish the headstone every time we go, to make it really sparkling. What do you do? For Dad. Um, it's a secret. Okay. It's a secret. All right. So, but yeah, he has a polish he puts on there and gets it all, all pretty and clean because, you know, when the sprinklers hit it, it starts to get the water spots on it and mm -hmm. stuff. So every time we go, he uh, polishes it and usually tries to pick out the girliest flowers he can find to put out there for Dad because he knows Dad will appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I've actually been uh, in awe of what, of what people have done um, from the, you know, Old Farts Racing Club and the, the car show that was uh -huh. so large that they threw together at the last minute and... Uh, you know, people that have, you know, continuously, even until now, uh, donations, I understand, that have, have been coming in. And, yeah, I really, it's, uh, it's very humbling to know how, you know, many strangers care just because of what he represented to the city. Mm -hmm. So, no, I, I really, really feel um, that, you know, a lot of people have gone above and beyond to make sure... Uh, that their appreciation for his sacrifice was, you know, was made known.